for you uh, navigating this whole new normal that the sports world is experiencing? You know, um, it's interesting. I think like everybody, Zoom, um, calling the kids. I just got off a conference call with my staff. We do every day um, at 11. So it's the new normal. Um, I think it's just really fortunate that we have all this technology uh, that allows us to keep in contact during a really stressful time. Yeah. And I know uh, Scott Merritt, he's a new addition uh, to the coaching staff. Um, how are you looking forward to having him uh, a part of the team? We're really excited. Uh, Scott comes from a lot of winning. You know, he played at Marquette, was part of a Final Four team. Uh, Marquette women's basketball, he was part of a rebuild there. And, you know, they, they've been really, really competitive in postseason play, winning, winning uh, Sweet 16s. Uh, I think beyond that, player development. Uh, he's 6'10". He, he knows how to play the post, both with his back to the basket and facing up. And really, really, really love about him. It's, it's not only building the kids on the court, but it'll be off the court. Character, character guy, character coach. So we're really excited he's joining our staff. How important was that uh, winning mentality that you, you just kind of spoke of? You know, I think, um, you know, Coaches all want that kind of culture, you know, what it takes to win at another level. Um, I think we have a lot of people, everybody wants to win on our staff that's been here. And, uh, but, you know, he's been there. You know, when I've been out on the road recruiting, I'd always see Scott out there. And Scott, um, you could see he was a worker. So he knows his ties in Illinois, in the Midwest. Uh, so it's, it's an attitude that's followed up with a lot of great experience. Do those connections help you guys uh, with recruiting? Like, is he mainly, you know, someone that you brought on board to to be a big recruiting push for you guys? I think the reason is just not one. He's not one fat. He's not one facet guy. Yes, he's a really good recruiter. Uh, Marquette has brought a lot of good players from the Illinois, which I did notice, and so that is one aspect. But what you really want is uh, at this level is someone that's going to help you uh, X and O's. He's going to help us uh, developing our post players and recruiting. And I think it's really important that we got someone that did all three. Yeah. Um, and I know you mentioned, too, he was part of a rebuild at Marquette. I think you guys are still kind of in that period now. How do you feel like he's going to contribute to, to bring this program to where you want it to be? I think it's a, a pivotal year for us. Um, you know, many people are like, you know, well, the first year when I took the program out over, we graduated one player. The next year we graduated two. Uh, this year we're graduating six. And so it's it's a turnover. Uh, I love those kids uh, that were with the program. They did a great job. Um, you know, they hung with us. They, they um, really set a good culture for us. But it, it is a bit of a, a pivotal year for us. And we're excited that he's going to be part of that. How would maybe, you know, your underclassmen, are they now ready to kind of take the baton? And, and I know they kind of led the team in their own way this year, but how prepared do you feel like they are to, to take this next year in, in their hands? I think one of the things that we had to do this year is give those freshmen an opportunity to play at the Big Ten level. We had three freshmen that saw a lot of minutes um, at a high level. A lot of freshmen, when they go to a BCS school, I think they average 14, 16 minutes. Our, our, our freshmen were earning almost close to 20 plus. Uh, and that, at times that's a challenge, just get experience at this level, but it was building for the future too. And I think they have a, a really good idea now until you really step out on the court and play um, at that level. Uh, Big 10 was incredibly competitive this year. If we would have gotten the tournament, I'm pretty convinced that eight teams would have gone. So it was, a, it was a great learning under fire that I hope that we can build on next year. Now, I know you guys are losing uh, Petra for next season. Did she vocalize to you about what went into to this decision and, and why she, you know, decided to go in a different direction? You know, we knew all year that she was going to have a decision at the end. And, you know, many people asked her in the season and I didn't ask her because it's like I wanted her to enjoy her time as a senior. Uh, she obviously had really close friends on the team. Uh, they had gone through this process together. And... Uh, you know, when she came in, she just said, you know, coach, I, I, I feel like I've, uh, I have I want to try something different. And I, you know, I think at that point, you have to respect players. She didn't come in emotionally. She came in, she had talked to her family. Uh, I respect her decision. I think she just wants to try something different. I understand. And, um, you know, she, she's an Illini and, and uh, we'll miss her, but 
I want to wish her the best as she moves forward. Absolutely. Now, she did play a really big role uh, for you guys. Who do you see maybe coming in to, to fill her shoes? I, I don't – I, I think every time a player leaves, like when Alice Whitaker left, like how do you replace? You don't replace. One of our, our struggles this year was, you know, we lost a, our, our starting five player uh, to injury. And then Nancy P, another of our post five player, came back after a two year injury. So we were playing a lot with four players. We actually had a three player playing the four, five. And in the Big Ten, it really, it was very hard for us to have someone that stopped things at the rim. And so even for Petra and our shooters, people could really spread themselves out and, uh, you know, the scheme against us in a way that was a little bit different if you don't have an inside presence as much as we wanted. I'm hoping, you know, we've got our, our recruiting class. We have a transfer, Eva uh, Rubin, that's 6'5". It's going to have a different look to it, which I think will help free up our shooters a little bit more, give us some more opportunity for kids to get um, open shots because people – aren't going to be able to scheme one way. Mm -hmm. Do, is that, you know, a positive thing, maybe knowing that you, you have some versatility on your team and you can, you know, like you said, trust a, a three player in the four or whatever it may be? Well, it, we're, we're playing more true positions. You know, a, a player that, you know, when you have someone at the rim, um, you know, if, you know, you, you look at Kofi for the men's team, how that just stops everything at the rim. We, we hope, you know, that, uh, through our recruiting and the kids that we brought in, that there's going to be a bigger presence inside. So that's just got to help us both on both ends of the court because we didn't really get a lot of second shots this year. Um, and we had to play a lot of perfect basketball. That's why those inside presence really kind of helps other teams. Uh, they hopefully make it more difficult for other teams just to kind of be at the basket as much as they were this past year. Mm -hmm. What is your expectation for the team now um, since, you know, no one's, really on campus, except for the exception of maybe a few, what are you telling them to do during this time? And what does, I guess, just the team dynamic look like right now? You know, I, I've called every one of our players on an individual basis more than once. I want to make sure we keep contact on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We've, we're like a lot of programs. You see the Zoom pictures of all the kids. We've done that. Um, we're going to be doing player evaluations with film. Uh, coaches already give input. You know, I, I think it's spoken best by one of the players, so I, I um, Kitty Miles, is that they know right now it makes a difference now. If they want to do it safely. They know they're with their, you know, they know the social distancing. But uh, our uh, strength and conditioning coach Kylie Fletcher has done a great job of sending out personalized workouts um, for what the players have. Because some player may have a dumbbell, another player may not. So we are being proactive um, to make sure that. We do it safely, but we also understand this is a time of year we got to get better and we got to maintain and we want to come come back with a sense of urgency. And I, I know they're going to be very